I got this big blue lift from Easy Riser to lift up my Triumph Thunderbird 1600. It's an awesome quality lift, but it took me a little while to work out what I needed to do. And I thought I'd make this video to help somebody else out if they got stuck on the same problem. The first thing we can do is remove these bolts and put them aside so we can use them later. We won't need that nylock nut, so you can discard that for now. And you're left with these neat holes in the mount with no protrusions to get in the way while you're maneuvering the lift under the bike and getting it into place. So these are the bolts you'd be using. Now because we won't have this nut between the bike and the mount anymore, we need to make some adjustments to the measurements that we were given in the initial instructions. So this measurement on the right now needs to be 80 millimeters. And this measurement needs to be reduced to 315. But in reality, I found that by making that measurement 310, the rear support bracket sits under the sump in a better position and makes me feel a little bit more confident. We need to put a block of wood under the side stand just to lift that side of the bike enough that we can line up that hole. The piece of wood that I've got here is about 25 millimeters about an inch thick and with that in place it's easy enough to line up the mount and the hole. So with those preparations done now we can slip big blue underneath the bike and line up the hole on the far side. What we need to do is use a socket and a hand wrench just to adjust the big blue up and down slightly until we get the holes perfectly in line. We need to get a bolt through this hole and once that's done it'll hold it in place while we line the other side up. So we get the bolt through here and then put the nut on. Finger tight is good enough because all we wanted to do at the moment is just hold it in place and then we move around to the other side of the bike and as you can see this side of the bike is much higher so the holes don't line up. So now we need to put a wrench onto the screw at the top of Big Blue and start to turn slowly and carefully. Keep an eye on the bike, watch how it slowly comes vertical and every now and again you can take a peep over the top of the bike and have a look at how things are looking that side. Keep turning and looking, turning and looking until eventually you'll see that the right hand side hole is almost lined up. You'll find that if you keep these bolts at the bottom here loose on this side, so that there's just a little bit of free play in that bracket, you'll be able to fit the screw through quite easily. Once you've done that, get the nut on, and this time you need to start tightening it up so tighten that up good and tight you'll find this is the difficult side because you can't get a spanner in the back and remember to tighten this one on the other side i think 20 foot pounds is probably adequate for all of these don't forget to tighten these two underneath here now if you're happy that everything's tight do one last look around for safety check everything's right and the bike's ready for lifting